Call today is April the 28th. I am so excited to welcome you to the team call today. We have a lot of amazing content um, to cover with you guys. So I want to make sure that we get through the content uh, as quickly as possible. Um, hopefully you guys can still hear me still. Um, can you guys hear me? Say yeah. I'm good on sound. Okay, good. I, I just saw some can't hear me. If, um, if someone could just tell the people that can't hear just to refresh their browser and, uh, and then everything should load up uh, again. So if someone wants to type that in the chat message that can hear to tell them to refresh their browser, that'd be great. So today we've got a lot of really cool content to cover uh, regarding social media. A lot of really cool stuff. I'm going to merge it all together. I had originally broken it down into uh, seven different sections. And then I felt it was better just to flow it all together. Uh, and I'm basically going to give you a snapshot, like say you were peering over my shoulder and you were to see what ads I've been running on Facebook and how I've been setting up my Facebook, um, you'd be able to see exactly what I do. Um, so a lot of this presentation is screenshots of exactly of my Facebook, how I've set it up, uh, Facebook campaigns, how to use Facebook campaigns, um, how Facebook is working right now, how to get your message out there as quickly as possible. So we're going to dive into a lot of really cool stuff. And right at the end, I'm going to get into some ninja tricks and stuff like that, the last two slides. So you're going to want to listen, sit tight until the end. Now realize that a lot of this stuff, like I've invested five, six years, and yes, Facebook changes every year, but I spent a lot of time on Facebook. So for those that don't know, um, prior to this, I was a digital marketing strategist. So I worked with a lot of companies like United Airlines, Microsoft in their digital marketing strategies. So I actually had the opportunity to work with people like Maurice Smith, with Gary Vaynerchuk, with Pat Flynn, um, uh, Chris Brogan, a lot of those guys I was able to meet with uh, in LA years and years ago. So I have a lot of good connections with them. I find out things that are happening before they actually happen. So I'm going to share with you guys some really cool tactics that, you know, if you were to buy them from the experts and guru, they actually, frankly, wouldn't even give you this stuff. They'd charge you even more money for that. They'd give you like the, here's some stuff you could try, and then they'd leave out the actual ninja moves. So I'm going to share everything with you guys, exactly how to set up Facebook properly so that you can get your most bang for your buck. So that's what we're going to dive into today, uh, and I'm going to kind of keep the motivational side out of it, but I do want to focus a little bit on a couple of things before we dive in because I think this is critically important especially for people that are watching this call just to find out okay how can I have Facebook you know spend some money and then explode my business things don't work that way I'm sorry to say that there you know and I'm happy to say to be honest there's no shortcuts there's no shortcuts in life if anyone ever tells you you know I have the golden ticket for you to get from point A to point B quicker and faster without doing any of the hard work they're lying to you uh, yes, there are ways that are easier, that can speed up, that can magnify what you're already doing, but you need to put in the hard work, you need to put in the effort. There's no magic bullet of signing up for a Facebook ad, putting in $50, and all of a sudden you're going to become the top coach. It just does not work that way. So I want to give you guys some background before we dive into the deep dive. First of all, Here's kind of the three things that I really, really like to focus on, and I'll explain it to you on the next slide exactly what kind of my motto is and kind of how I try and, you know, work through the Beachbody business. So the three core elements that I wanted to tell you about was, one, ensure you know your mission, okay? You need to, if you haven't done this yet, you need to start with this as a Beachbody coach. You need to figure out what your mission is, how you want to help people, why is it that you exist? Why are you different than any other Beachbody coach? There's so many of them. What's going to make you special? What's going to make you stand out? What's going to get you up in the morning? You need to figure out what that mission is and what that means to other people, okay? Because if you don't have that cause, the cause of what you're trying to do, it's going to make things very, very difficult for you, especially with Facebook, okay? The second thing you're going to want to do is you need to figure out what your why is. Now, uh, Simon Sinek talks about this a lot, and he's got a great book that you need to really read. It's called Start With Why. There's no other book out there that I recommend anyone read. There's other books about, you know, network marketing. There's other books about, you know, the ones you heard last week. There's just so many books out there, but honestly, at its core, 
I truly and honestly believe that this is the most important thing that can change the game for you. From someone that maybe isn't having a lot of success or if you're a brand new coach and you're wondering, you know, how are you going to make an impact in, in the world and in Beachbody, you need to figure out what your why is. And this book really explains to you how to figure out what your why is and also how to, you know, explain that why to people around you, right? So you need to figure that out. And the third thing I'll say is you need to figure out what your fears are. Okay, what your fears are and what's holding you back in accomplishing the things that you've always wanted. You know, we did a really cool exercise today on our team where we took a, we can't do it over this call, but we took a piece of paper and I told everyone on my team to, in the middle of the piece of paper, write down their biggest fear, right? What's your biggest fear? Maybe it's, you know, public speaking. Maybe your biggest fear is fear of rejection. Maybe your biggest fear is that your mom and dad aren't gonna like what you're doing. Maybe your biggest fear is that you're not gonna be able to lose the weight if you follow the workout program. Um, whatever your biggest fear is, you gotta write down that fear in the middle of the piece of paper. And then around that, we wrote out all the little things that you've always dreamed about that are not gonna happen if you don't break that fear. And after we did all that, we spent some time on that. The second thing we did is we closed our eyes and we thought about that. We envisioned the perfect life where that fear was gone. Right? The fear is gone and all these amazing things that you dream about when you go to bed at night and then are destroyed the second you wake up to the alarm clock or your kids screaming and your boss yelling at you while you're not at work. Right? What are all those dreams that you want and what's that fear that's holding you back? And then what I told everybody to do is to take out a lighter and light that piece of paper on fire and burn it and just completely burn it. And we had our team uh, take pictures of the before and the after that paper. It is so important for you to figure out what your fears are in life Forget beach body, honestly. Like, you need to figure out what your biggest fears are in life and you need to conquer them. And the cool thing about beach body is the better you get at conquering your fears, the more success you're going to have as a beach body coach. And it's just going to keep growing and growing and growing. So, really, before we get into Facebook, I want you to understand there's no shortcuts. You need to figure out why it is you exist. What's your mission, right? My mission is helping a ton of people, as many people as I can. Secondly, what's your why? What's going to get you up in the morning? What's going to get you engaged and pumped up after this team calls over? After the music's off and you go upstairs and you find out reality and you see the bills, you know, piling up on the kitchen table, what's going to get you pumped up then, right? A lot of people are so happy where they are, where they are, mediocrity, right? So you need to figure out what your why is. And thirdly, you got to break down your fears and get through. All right. So with that out of the way, here's kind of what I wrote out for myself. And this is very important because what I'm about to show you is going to get you a crazy amount of new friends on Facebook. So if you've, if you've ever been wondering, you know, how do I get more friends? How do we expand my market? We're going to talk about that in a second. But once they connect with you, once they talk to you, if you're doing this the wrong way, you're just going to blow through 100 new friends again and wonder why you didn't sell a challenge pack, why you didn't find a coach. That's why I'm starting with this, right? Um, so here's an example just written out of my why that I've come up with over time and tweaked. A lot of it is based off of uh, start with why. So you need to get that book. And let me explain this to you. And this is how I explain what I do to people. My passion is to inspire and empower others to dream the extreme and show them that it can be done. I help people focus on themselves again, right? Take 30 minutes to themselves, eat right, work out, spend more time with their families. I happen to be a beach body coach and have the perfect workouts, nutrition, or shortcuts, right? This is so critical to how you do business because I guarantee you that 90% of you that are on this call, maybe more, and especially maybe some of the new coaches would have generally started with the other method, which is the reverse, right? You might have gone onto your Facebook and said, hey, I'm a beach body coach. I have the perfect workouts. They're on sale this month for $160. I help people get in great shape and eat right and spend more time with their families. And by the way, I want to help you. Do you see the difference? There's a huge difference in that, right? Huge difference, massive difference, right? You'll see all the top coaches do this either naturally or they've learned this. You need to figure out what it is your cause. You know, uh, he talks about Martin Luther King a lot in this video and you need to Google this video if you haven't seen it yet, but just to make the final point on this before we get into Facebook, Martin Luther King is a perfect example. That guy had no Facebook, okay? There was no Facebook, there was no internet, but somehow he managed to get, you know, droves of people to go watch his I Have a Dream speech, right? How did he do that? 
how did he get so many people to show up at the same time without internet, without, you know, really advanced communications? How was that possible? I'll tell you why. Because he figured out that he had a why. He explained his passion to people. He was, his speech was, I have a dream. That was his speech. His speech wasn't, I have a plan. I have a plan that today we're going to do X, Y, Z. No one remembers those people. No one cares. No one cares about plans. No one cares about Beachbody Challenge Pack sales. Nobody cares about what is in the Shakeology ingredients, right? They do, but later. They'll care about that later. What they care about is that they see belief in you. They see character in you. They see that you're a good person. They see that you're trustworthy, right? They see that you have a dream of doing something. And then everyone will want to surround themselves with you. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say about that. We're going to dive right into Facebook now. But again, there's no shortcuts in life. You need to get all this stuff figured out before you apply this method. Because otherwise, you're going to waste a lot of money on Facebook if you decide to do the, the finance route where you're actually paying for ads. Um, or even if you just start spending time on Facebook and you're putting the wrong things on there, you're just going to blow a lot of time on Facebook if you mess this stuff up, okay? Um, so let's go into what I call the ultimate Facebook strategy. Uh, I'm sure there's a million people that say they have the ultimate Facebook strategy, but I should have put, this is the ultimate Facebook strategy for Beachbody coaches. So how about we'll go with that. So in a nutshell, this is what I'm about to teach you. Now, a lot of you have Facebook profiles. Some of you have uh, Facebook pages and some of you have, you know, just your face to face, you know, communication with other people. What I'm going to show you is basically a very basic funnel system. Now, marketing is a lot about funnels um, and Facebook is really a funnel system. And so what I try and do is, is in a nutshell is I try and find new people, right? New people that I've never met before that like the things that I like and I try and get them to go like my Facebook page. Once they like my Facebook page and they're engaged in my Facebook page, the ones that really want one-on-one -on -one help, that might want to connect with me, that might want to get to know me a little bit better, I push them over to my Facebook profile, my Facebook personal profile page. And then after that, once they're on my profile page, I try and get them on the phone if possible or face-to-face, -face. I meet up with them in person. And then once we're talking on the phone and we meet up in person, I at some point will sell them a challenge pack or have them become a coach. So what I'm going to show you today is that purple area, how you get new people. Because a lot of you say, well, you know, I'm new to Facebook. I, don't, I only have 30 friends or 100 friends. You know, how do I expand my market? This is a great way, to, um, a way you can expand your mar market. I'm going to show you a way for if you wanted to, you know, for 250 bucks, maybe $300 if you wanted to, you could add 17,000, 20,000 new Facebook likes to your Facebook page like tomorrow. Um, it's that powerful the system I'm going to show you. Now, again, that said, if you're not putting the right content up on your profile page, if you're not putting the right contact up, content up on your Facebook page, you're just going to waste a lot of money. So that's kind of the whole theory behind the concept that I'm going to show you today. So together, they're more powerful. A lot of people just have a page. Some people just have a profile. Um, if you do them both combined together in the way I'm going to show you, they can be, you know, you can through the roof, you'll explode your business. So the first thing we need to do is set up your Facebook profile page. Now your Facebook profile page has three key areas that you need to focus on. Again, this is one method that I believe works fairly well. Uh, the first thing I do is I set up a good banner. Now I generally change my banner, you know, everywhere from once to twice a month, uh, sometimes once a week. And I try and keep that, you know, fresh, especially with some of the changes that have gone on with Facebook, the way they're displaying on your newsfeed, the way that can, people can see your profile now on your phone. Uh, it's a lot better. So I try and change that picture all the time. I try and center and ensure that I am in the picture. Um, so in this specific example, you can see me with my son. And you'll notice we're purposely centered in the middle because uh, when you uh, load it up on a mobile device, it's going to cut off the left and the right a little bit. So I just want to make sure it's a nice, clean picture. The other thing specifically with this strategy, because I'm going to be taking people from my page to my profile, I don't want it to be salesy at all because I'm already trying to, you know, sell and convince people that I want to help them on my page. So when they come to my profile, I want it to look very clean, like a trustworthy profile. 
Okay. The second thing I do is I set up a picture on my actual profile here. You can see the picture of me. And there's just little subtle things in here. I'm wearing a T25 shirt. I'm wearing a PNEX shirt as well, uh, you know, to gain credibility with people. And then the third thing I do is I set up uh, the about section fairly well. So you'll notice there I have a five star diamond elite uh, beach body coach at. So a lot of people don't know this. Probably a lot of you have, you know, at beach body in here. I'm not going to show you how to change all this, but if you just go in and click the little edit button, you can actually say you're a beach body coach at, and then you can type your page name, right? So in this case, I typed at smart fitness. And so now right on my page, you can, on my profile, you can see that I work at my page, right? So it kind of li links them together. And if someone goes to my profile, they can click on that and they'll go see my page. And if someone comes from my page and goes to my profile, they get the continuity and the congruency that it's the same person, right? This is very, very important. Okay, so those are kind of the three things you want to ensure get set up correctly for you. The other thing I do is with that banner is I type in a description. A lot of people will just change their banner picture. What you want to do is change it and then click on the picture when it comes up in your timeline or in your banner and then hit edit description and you're going to want to type a little bit of a description about what the picture is or what you're all about. So in this case, in this case, I typed up a, a little bit of a description around all that as well. Um, as well with your profile picture, it's another opportunity to tell your story. Again, I'm not salesy. I don't have any, you'll never see a link to buy any challenge packs or to sign up to a coach on my profile at all. If I could, I would ban that from being allowed because all you're doing by that is just completely destroying anyone that had any uh, trust in you. So don't do that. Uh, so here I just tell a story, right? Because I'm, I'm again, going back to what I said, you have to lead with your why. You have to inspire people. Again, this is if you want to be a top coach, right? If you want to be a top coach, you have to do it this way. Um, so again, here, you know, don't be afraid to act like a fool, right? Just I tell little stories like this and I try and connect with people, right? And try and really, really connect with people authentically, right? If you meet me in person, who I am here is who I am in person, right? Sometimes I'm not as, you know, hyped up on Shakeology and E&E, but overall I'm the same guy. Um, and so, yeah, so those are one of the th big things you got to do for your profile page. Okay. Once you have your profile page set up, you need to set up your Facebook page. Now, if you haven't created a Facebook page, I'm not going to go through all that. I'm going to show you how to set up a couple tweaks on it. But in order to do that the right way, what you need to do is go to your uh, Facebook page or go to Facebook and just hit create page and uh, you'll be able to go through the wizard to create your page. And I'll, I'm going to tell you a couple tips in terms of how you want to create that page. Just little things that I do that make a huge difference, okay? Um, and so let me go through some of those things here. Okay, the first thing is the banner picture. You wanna be a little more professional on your page because when people see a page, they expect a business, okay? So it can't just be a picture of, you know, your dog and you hugging your dog anymore. It has to be professional, okay? So here I still have pictures of myself and I try and show different facets of what I do, right? I'm a public speaker, I work out, um, I help people work out, and I like to run, right? That's all in my banner picture. I have my team logo up in there, and then I also have just three words, focus, passion, and succeed, which is really kind of the three words that I like to focus on with my team and kind of just the three words that I try to try and live by, right? So everything else that comes in my page, everything else you're going to see, any post you see that I post all leads back into either a focus. So focus on your workouts, a passion that I have or succeeding in life, right? So all of my posts are about that. So I highly recommend that you do this. So you can create banners with PicMonkey. You can use GIMP. You can use Photoshop. Um, if you want, you can go to Fiverr, F I V E R R dot com, and you can buy a logo for five bucks. You can buy a banner for five bucks. Whatever you want to do, you can go ahead and do that. I'm not going to get into that on this call. Secondly, you're going to want to set up your profile picture. Now, notice here my picture is not my fancy logo that I had made. It's not anything like that. It's not some fancy graphic. It's a picture of me, right? I'm wearing a Turbo Fire shirt but it's a picture of me because a lot of what I'm going to do here is funnel in new people that never heard of me before, build trust and credibility with them, and then eventually have them add me on my personal page. And if I go back, right, when they, when they add me, I want them to see me, right? So they need to see that flow. If, if you have a picture of your logo and then an ad says, Hey, add me and uh, you know, we can talk more. 
right? And then they come to your page and they don't even know who, what you look like. It's going to be a very hard conversation for people, right? And so you really want to brand your page as you. Otherwise, everything else is going to be, you know, pr pretty useless, right? You don't want to just make a sales page, okay? The third thing is I recommend you do it as a local business, okay? Now, why? There's a million ways to set it up. So when you go and create a page, it's going to ask you what kind of business is it, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you select local business, and here's why. If you select local business, it will add this little star ranking system for you where people can actually go and rate your page, right? So you get these cool little ratings. So I have 4.1, which is great, right? Uh, so I got four stars, and if you click in on it, you can actually see, if you go to my page right now, you could see you know, the people, and you can see the ratings with little bars and stuff. So it just... I'm trying to build trust and credibility with people, so it's very important uh, that, you, that you do that part. Okay, now next, the fourth thing you want to do is write up a nice message. Don't, you know, cheap out just because, oh, great, I got a page up. I don't want to write anymore, right? No, this is very important. This is what people are going to see. So you need to write in here, for example, e exactly what you do because people don't know you, right? If you run an ad, people have no idea what your page is about. So the first things they're going to see is your banner, your picture, and what it is that you say you're about. So here, physical fitness. I help motivate and keep you inspired to drop the pounds, the inches, and feel amazing again. You deserve that hot body. Go to www.smartassfitness.com. And I add my page, my blog in there, right? So again, it's all really kind of interwoven and well-connected, and it's very clear. You know exactly what my page is about. Now there's the become a coach and the get fit part. I'm gonna ignore that for now because it's a little more complicated to create those. However, I will also say that they're getting rid of them anyway. There's a new Facebook update coming out where they're gonna get rid of a lot of those buttons anyway. Um, so really, I wouldn't worry about them too much. And I've had them there honestly since I started and I've had like 10 people click on each button. So like 20 people. And most of them were Beachbody coaches that messaged me after asking how I made those cool buttons. So, so honestly, don't even worry about that section. I wouldn't, I wouldn't lose sleep over it. Um, the next thing people will notice is likes, right? So how many likes do you have? Okay, so I have 25,000 some likes. So you're gonna wanna make sure that's right front and center so people can see that. And a tip I'll give you is you need to really focus on getting a thousand or more likes before you run any ads on your Facebook because otherwise people are going to see how many likes your page has and they're not going to even trust the ad, right? They'll see an ad. Let's say you had, I don't know, 50 likes and you read an ad. Um, they're going to look right away and see you have 50 likes. Well, you have no customers. So why on earth would I trust anything this person's saying, right? So you really need to focus on your likes, okay? So... Uh, let's go a little further here. In terms of your page posts, there's a couple ways that, that you can uh, get further engagement. So one way that I find for me works really well is I like to find inspirational quotes, right, that have been shared before in some cases, um, or ones that I like. Sometimes I'll go on Google. Sometimes I'll go on uh, Pinterest is a great place to go. You can go on Pinterest. You can find tons of motivating quotes. Sometimes I'll just sit there on my phone go through Pinterest, just find quotes, just keep going, keep going. Sometimes I'll be listening to personal development or an audio book and I'll hear a quote and I'll just Google the quote and up will pop up the quote with a great picture. Um, sometimes um, I'll actually buy stock photography. By the way, if you want to buy stock photography, there's expensive ways and there's cheap ways. So the one that I use that's the least expensive is 1234rf.com. It's the cheapest one. There's like photo bucket. There's tons of other ones, but 123rf.com is the cheapest one out there. And you can buy basically pictures and then you can put your text on top of them. So I do that a lot as well. Uh, for And sometimes I share stuff. So my point is you need to share stuff on your page that people are going to want to share. If you, sh if you put stuff on your page that no one's going to want to share, then it's pretty much useless. So, you know, nutritional recipes are great. That's not my thing, so I don't bother sharing them. But if, if your thing is nutrition, then you want to share a lot of recipes and all that kind of stuff on your page. For me, like I told you, my thing is passion, motivation, inspiration, that kind of stuff. So I share stuff like be better than you were yesterday, right? The ones who say you can't and won't are probably the ones scared that you will. And I get great engagement because of these posts. Like, look here, for example, this is April 20th. Um, I had almost 4,000 engagement on this post. And on the other one, I had almost 4,000 engagement on that post. What I do is I find the great picture, and then I also add 
different text to it. I see some people, they'll find a quote and then they'll retype the quote. You wanna add your flavor to your quotes. And the other thing I find is because bold, you can't use bold on Facebook, I capitalize certain words and it works, works really, really well as well. So some of the things you wanna share on your page, just some, some ideas. Now, um, let me get into a ninja move, a ninja trick. So here's the problem with Facebook. Right now, they are completely, um, I would say almost penalizing pages. Now what does that mean? Okay, so here's the thing. If you have a Facebook page and you have any fans on your page, and this is gonna shock a lot of you, only 1% of your fans that have actually hit like on your page are actually gonna see any of the posts that you share, no matter what. So the only way that you can get your stuff to be seen by people on your page is if you get the engagement level higher on your page. Um, so let's say that we were able to boost, right, our, our, our likes and to boost our shares and to boost um, basically our engagement on our posts for a period of time. Over a period of time, that engagement will stay no matter what you post. So if you were, if you, I don't know, had some magic bullet where you could post something that would get, you know, 80% of your Facebook fans to see your post and then the rest of them were just normal posts, the, the, what happens is the normal posts still get shared a lot. So if we figure out that magic bullet and then you post something else later, like, you know, join a challenge group or add me on Facebook or just a picture, it's gonna get kind of the residual leftover of that spike. So you're still gonna get some engagement. So what I try and do is I try and post kind of these magic bullet shots uh, at least once, sometimes twice a week, which keeps my engagement levels pretty high. The other cool thing about the method I'm going to show you is that even if your engagement has dropped drastically, if you do this, it'll boost it up really, really quickly. And it's all natural. It's completely free. It is a little bit of work, but I'm going to show you exactly screen by screen how to do it. Um, so maybe just, I got to grab a glass of water, but who wants to see a way where you could boost your engagement levels on any page by at least, you know, a hundred, maybe 200% from what you're typically used to right after this call. I'm going to grab a glass of water. Can you guys still hear me? It's, uh, let's see, come on. Clearly I should not have grabbed that glass of water.
All right, sorry guys. I don't know what happened there, but let me uh, let me go back here. Okay. All right, sorry about that. So basically, uh, yeah. So now that you saw the screens, you still don't know how to do it. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have to explain to you how this works. So here's how this works. Basically, Facebook has given a huge, um, basically um, a bonus point for videos. They love videos now. All of a sudden, they don't like text. They don't like images, they love videos. They want people to see videos. And here's the other reason why videos are working so well. And I don't know if this is gonna to change tomorrow, but right now this works amazingly well. Now what happens is, on your phone, they updated the phone app so that when you scroll, what happens when you see a video on your feed? It automatically plays the video. And so what Facebook believes is that because someone's playing your video, they're gonna give it a lot more authority. So if you post a video on your page, the chances of someone playing that video and seeing the animation and clicking in and watching the video, it's really, I guess, not a bug so much to say that video is gonna be more popular on the phone, right? So what happens is when you post a video to your timeline, Facebook loves you, right? Facebook will love you when you post a video to your timeline. So what we wanna do is we wanna post videos that have an, uh, the ability to go viral, right, on your page. Now, again, there's kind of two schools of thought here. Some people say, well, you know, grabbing a video that someone else posted before, you know, is it theirs? Here's the truth, okay? Everyone's grabbing a video from somebody else, from somebody else, from somebody else, from somebody else, from somebody else. So, honestly, who even knows where the videos come from? Um, so, I'm going to show you exactly how you can download any video from YouTube and then just upload it right into Facebook. That's pretty much what I do. Um, so, let me just... Um, I'll show you how this works. So basically what I do, just to, uh, uh, to show you exactly how this works, is you go to YouTube and you do a search for whatever, funny workout video, whatever it is. And of course, sometimes I'll spend three, four hours, you know, looking for a great video, a video that I think is funny, that goes with, you know, my brand. Um, and I look at the views as well. I see how many views the video has. If the video has three million views, chances are people are going to love it as much as they did on YouTube on Facebook, right? And chances are Facebook is gonna love it because people are gonna be loving your page, right? So here's an example, I just do a search, I find a video. Once I find the video, uh, I just copy basically the URL. I copy the URL from the video and I take that URL and I usually paste it into Notepad so I don't lose it or whatever. And then what you wanna do is you wanna go to a website called keepvid.com, okay? Keepvid.com. And when you go to keepvid.com, you just paste in the URL into your, into your uh, little window there where it says download. And then you're going to want to hit the download button, the gray button, not the big download and install button. That's spyware and spamware. So don't click that. If you click that and you message me later that you got a virus, I'm sorry. Um, I told you not to. <laughs> um, so, but it works really well. I use it all the time. So you just paste in. You hit the download button that's at the top right there. And then what'll happen is it'll give you a bunch of different formats for that video where you see in the second step and you can just download um, pretty much any video that you want. Uh, by the way, this works for Facebook videos. This works for videos in your back office from Team Beachbody. If you've ever seen coaches post, you know, the Pio workouts on Facebook or whatever it is or like the promo videos or anything like that, you can just basically just download any video with this website. You just paste in the URL, it goes out, downloads it, and then you have it on your computer, okay? So once you have the video on your computer, you're gonna go back into Facebook and basically just upload the video, right? Super, super simple to use. Um, there's a ton of different programs out there. I've tried lots of them. Um, this one works for every browser. There's specific ones for Firefox. There's specific ones for Chrome. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ones, but this one works the best for everybody. So I thought I'd share this one with you. It's just keepvid.com works pretty much uh, every time. Okay, so next thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, I wanted to talk really briefly about ads. So I'm gonna show you some ads that work really well. So what I've shown you already should be more than enough. Like if you make those tweaks to your profile page, to your Facebook page, and you start adding video, I'm telling you that's more than enough. Like you don't have to spend money on Facebook. That in itself will increase the fans you get. It will increase the people you get to look at your page. It's gonna increase your engagement. It's gonna blow things up, right? So that's enough. Now, if you wanna take the next step and maybe start investing some money into Facebook, I'm gonna show you kind of what you wanna do moving forward. And again, all of this stuff, you don't need to run ads. You can just post these exact same posts as is. It's just ads will boost the posts 
and I'll show you how to pick which ones you want to boost. Okay, so for example, here's one that I posted. I said, are you ready to crush 2014? I'm looking for 30 people that want to lose up to 50 pounds in 10 weeks to start 2014. No packed gyms, no lines, just working out at home 25 minutes a day. Yep, works very well, and people will ask you how you did it. If you want to change your life 2014, done with excuses, add me on Facebook, and I will get you started rocking 2014. And then I put a link to my Facebook page, right, because I want people to add me. Now, that specific post got 82 likes, 26 comments, 45 shares, and you'll notice, just as an example, this the stream goes down forever. You'll see someone said, I'm down, right? All I do is I put add me on Facebook and we can chat. Okay, you can get more technical and you can try and talk through stories and stuff like that. I've done that before, trust me. Like most people, you just want to just filter them out pretty quickly. So I just go ahead and just paste the exact same thing for every single person. That's how I do it. Um, the other thing I'll show you is that I only paid 10 bucks for this ad. It cost me 10 bucks. Um, out of this ad, uh, I was selling T25. I believe I sold anywhere from like 20 to 30 challenge packs from this one ad. So $10, 20 to 30 challenge packs. Now I merged some stuff together. Now you can't just go after this call and say, cool, I'm going to take out an ad, spend $10, sell 20 challenge packs. That is not how it works. You haven't been listening. <laughs> the way it works is if you have your why, if you know how to talk to people, if you know you want to get them on the phone, if you have no fears of getting people on the phone, right? If, uh, if you set up your profile the right way, if you don't have any spammy things on your profile page, if you, if you have a nice banner on your thing, if you've been sharing great jab, jab, jab content for a while, I didn't post this right away. I was posting pretty much all of December, just basic, basic stuff, inspir inspiring stuff for people, right? And then this was, this was my right hook, right? Not only that, but I embedded a video, right? I embedded a video that was an inspiring video, so people wanted to watch the video, and as they're watching the video, they're reading my text. Do you get that? So <laughs> this is one of the big secrets people don't share, is that if you can get an ad approved with a video playing, people are going to be watching that video, but what else is beside there? Your ad, and they're going to love the video, and your ad isn't, hey, buy my challenge pack on sale, 160 bucks this month. No, your ad is... Basically, hey, I want to change your life. I want to help you. Add me on Facebook. And they add you. And then what do they see? A challenge pack sale? No. They see a picture of you playing with your kids, a picture of yourself, and another picture of, you know, something inspiring. And they message you and they go, hey, what's up? Well, tell me more. That's how it works, okay? That's how you spend $10 to sell 20 challenge packs. So it's not just like a thing that will work like that. But if you get everything the right way, it's going to work forever. So Facebook uh, post advertising. Let me give you an example of a different one that you know wasn't a video. Here's another one, very similar. This one was on November 9th. It was no video. It was, if you work hard, you can get in the best shape of your life. I won't, I won't read the whole thing for you, but you'll see there is, this is 10 weeks. Uh, New Year's uh, boot camp challenge starts November 25th. If anyone's interested, add me on Facebook, right? And again, it's just a picture. This specific one had 137 likes. 50 comments and 55 shares. Again, I'm sending people to my profile page where they're going to find out more about me and they'll hopefully send me a message. Now, I'll tell you, if you create an ad like this, that I'll show you how to, I'm going to show you step by step how to create an ad. Uh, if you create an ad like this, after you have a thousand likes or more on your page, right, you could spend 100, 200 bucks, or you could spend 10, it doesn't matter, like wherever you're comfortable spending. You're going to get streams of people. Like I know right now that if I wanted to sell challenge packs right now, you know, I could go in, I could throw down 100, 200 bucks, and I will see literally my Facebook stream light up with ads. Like literally like friends adding me. People will be adding, 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 adding. I, 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 when I first started doing it, I would run to my wife and be like, you got to help me talk to these people. There's too many people adding me. I cannot get back to all of them in time. Okay, so this, this works really well, like super well, if you do it all the right way. Okay, so that's just an example. Again, what you want to do is, and please don't mess this part up. You don't want to take the easy route out and just put your beach body link, right? Because you think someone's going to just magically click it and buy a challenge pack. That'll never happen, okay? You need to get them to add you to your, to add you as a friend, and then you need to talk to them. And just to give you an example, what I do when someone's, the first thing they'll tell you, by the way, is, hey, I saw your thing. Um, how much does it cost? right? That's the first thing they're going to tell you, right? And most of you that haven't done enough personal development yet are probably going to answer them with the, what they asked you. And I will give you this little tip. I will tell you, realize you are in complete control. 
you are in complete control of that conversation. When someone has taken the time to go to your page, to like your page, to view your page for maybe a month, and they see an ad, and they watch a video, and they read the description, and they click on ad, and they add you as a friend, they've spent time. They, they, they want to engage with you. So you do not need to answer that question right away. The way that I answer a question when it comes out like that, like, hey, saw your ad, you know, how much is it? I might be interested. The first thing I say, which will shock them, right, is, hey, how are you, John? Nice to meet you. That's it. And I'll tell you right now, that one response pretty much blows their minds because <laughs> they're expecting some sales pitch and a one sentence reply, it literally blows their minds. Most of the people just reply back and go, oh, I'm sorry. Hey, nice to meet you too. Or like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Nice to meet you, right? Now you have total leverage. You have complete, in a second, one sentence, complete leverage and control of the conversation, right? The next, now you're in control because now they've responded and now you just say, Hey man, I'd love to help you. You know, what are your goals? And then you'll get something back, right? So you're leading the conversation. So once they tell me their goals, the next thing I say pretty much every time, say, that sounds amazing. I'd love to help you. When can we talk on the phone? That's it. That's all I do. And then I get them on the phone. That's it. I, I do it that way. I don't like chatting on Facebook. I find it's really impersonal. I get them on the phone and then I talk to them on the phone. But this isn't about that. This call is about Facebook, so I'm not going to go deeper into that. But just to tell you that this will work, this will get you a ton of people adding you, but if you don't have those basic core skill sets, I told you there's no shortcuts in life, then you could take out an ad for $1,000 and get 5,000 new friends and you're not going to sell any challenge packs either way. Okay? Um, so let's keep going. So again, your personal profile is critical. When you run these ads especially, so what I tell my team to do when they go and run ads is at nighttime, say they're going to run an ad, typically what you would do is you would create an ad around 8 or 9 o'clock at night. You would work out the text, um, you would upload the picture, you would upload it, you would go through the ad approval process, and yes, usually 9 out of 10 times your ads will be disapproved because it's an automatic filter. They'll just look at it and it'll break something and they'll just be disapproved. So I'm going to show you how to get them approved even if they are disapproved. Um, and then what I do is the next day when they start running about three in the morning, there's no one really on Facebook, so it's not going to spend much of your money. Um, I make sure that about seven o'clock, I have good content on my page that whole day, right? So content like, not like, hey, buy my challenge pack, right? Because that won't work. Um, I have content of me because again, they've seen me on my page. They see me in my profile. Now they're going to see me on my page again, right? So a great example is my before and after picture. Uh, an example would be a video of me doing a T25 workout for, you know, a minute. Uh, another example would be, again, another video of me and my kids doing a workout at Fit Club, right? So because when they click on add, the first thing they're going to do, what do you do when you add someone? What do you do? You go and look and see if they're authentic, right? Who they are, what they've been up to. So someone buying something from you is definitely going to do that as well. So again, critical, critical. You need to go back and look at your page after this call and make sure that you're not, you know, Beachbody 2.0 as I call it, which is basically Beachbody replicating itself as a marketing engine and people. Um, you want to make sure you're a person that people love. Okay, so let's get into some parts of creating the ad. So first, you need at least a thousand likes to run any specific ad, you know, to buy a challenge pack basically, right? Um, because otherwise people are not going to see your ad and they're going to see your ad and the first thing they're going to see is how many likes. So here's an example of an ad at the bottom you see, you know, get daily motivation and inspiration to get uh, off the couch and get your workout done. And you'll see at the bottom left, it's going to show people how many likes your page has. So how horrible do you think that's going to look if your page has like four likes? People aren't going to, you know, really read your post, right? You need to have a ton of likes on your page in order for this thing to work. So here's an example um, of one of the posts that I've run before, and this is to get likes, okay? So I want to show you how to get likes first to your page. Now, I know people, and I'll show you an example. I know people that go out and buy likes, okay? I'm going to show you why that's a horrible thing to do in a second, but there's really no point to buy likes. If you buy likes, you really don't know Facebook enough. And it's actually quite simple. I'll show you exactly how to create a really good like ad. Not by hitting the boost my page or, you know, get me more likes. 
that that button was designed by Facebook to steal your money. Okay, it's basically uh, you know Facebook slot machine in a casino is like you know people that don't know any of them they're going to go and promote their page and they're going to pay you know a dollar two dollars fifty cents per like. I'm going to show you how to pay sixteen cents sometimes less ten cents. I I've paid as low as eight cents a like in some cases. Um, this specific ad here I paid sixteen cents per like. It reached almost a quarter million people, and it got sixteen thousand basically clicks and likes to it. So, yeah, absolutely, it got me tons, tons of likes and clicks. Um, and and again, this cost me about uh, two or three hundred bucks. Um, but you know, it really depends on kind of what you want to do uh, with Facebook. Again, you don't have to spend any money if you don't want to. I'm just showing you how the pros do it. Okay. So, how do you get more likes with Facebook? So let me show you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the um, ads manager. You'll see that in the top left corner. If you have the old version of Facebook, you'll see it in the top right corner where your settings and privacy settings are. You just click on that button, you go down, and you'll see ad manager. So you click on ad manager, and when you go to ad manager, you're going to see a ton of fancy stuff, grids, and all this wonky stuff that might scare you and confuse you. But just ignore all that and look at the top right corner. There'll be a button in, in green that says create ad. Now you can take the tour if you want to, but they kind of get fairly technical, so I would just hit create ad. Once that comes up, um, you're going to see basically what kind of results do you want. You'll see all these different things you could do. You're going to want to select page likes. When you select page likes, you'll select from a drop down your page. So in this case, smart fitness, I would select smart fitness. When smart fitness comes up, okay, I'm going to show you some of the ninja moves that people don't tell you here again. So. First thing you're going to do is for images, it's going to automatically throw in an image of your banner from your page, right? That's what you're going to see where you see images there. First of all, the dimensions are completely wrong, so you don't want to use that image. Uh, second of all, that image usually has nothing to do with the ad you're going to run for likes, so you're going to want to remove that. So remove that ad first of all. Secondly, what you want to do is you want to find three to six pictures that you think will draw people's attention that have to do with your page. So for my stuff right now, I've been focusing a lot on Pio. I've been doing a lot of Pio yoga 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 e posts. Um, so I, for this example, I found three images of yoga poses, uh, and then I'm going to write some content for this ad. And um, a golden nugget you're going to want to write down is Facebook tells you that uh, the images that are recommended are 600 by 225. That's actually not true. Uh, because it doesn't show up nice on an iPad with a retina display or an iPhone with a retina display. Um, so what I recommend you do is set it to uh, find an image that's 1200 by 627 pixels wide. Now, what does that all mean? Basically, go find three images. You can, I usually, for these types of ads, I usually buy them on 123rf.com. So I go there, I find big images, and then I'll use, you know, you can use a uh, GIMP or Photoshop or whatever photo program you can use, you know, Paint from Microsoft that comes with Windows, um, and you can just create a new image and just put in the dimensions 1200 by 627, and then you just crop your image to be that size, right? And you save it. So here I uploaded uh, three different images, uh, all 1200 by 627 size, um, and then once those are uploaded, those are set. Now the cool thing is Facebook because I've done it this way. They want to make the most money possible, so what they're going to do is they're going to automatically test these images for you. Isn't that cool? So what does that mean? Well, whichever image actually gets the most likes and most engagements, they're going to share those images more than the other ones. So the more images you put in, the more testing you can do, and Facebook will automatically do that testing for you and display the image that people like the most, which is pretty cool. Okay, the next part is the text and links. Okay, so in here you're going to want to write a pretty neat headline. For my specific case, I usually use an image that takes up the full width, so Facebook won't show the headline, which is which is good actually. Um, secondly, is the text. You want to write out something. I just wrote this real quick before the call. You know, needs inspiration. Uh, need inspiration to get in the best shape of your life. Get a daily dose of motivation, right? Um, and it's going to show you on the side exactly how your post will look like for the likes. Um, the other thing I will tell you is make sure you remove the right column because the right column, basically no one ever sees it. They're trained to ignore it. So you want to remove the right column. And the mobile newsfeed, I leave mine in because I find a lot of people just go through, go through their phone. So 
you would leave that in for this specific case. There's cases where you would remove it, but for a like ad, I would leave in the mobile news feed. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you'll scroll down, you'll see audiences. Um, you can create custom audiences, um, but I'm not going to you know, go into them today. Uh, it's a little more of an advanced topic. Let's just get through creating the ad today. So what I do is I set my location to Canada because I try and focus in on Canada. So I would set that up. Age range, I try and pick an age range of people that have money, <laughs> which means they would have a credit card. Um, so I set it to 21 to to anywhere you want, honestly, uh, but it tends to be that people between 21 to 24 and anywhere from 48 to 50 um, are ones that are going to engage the most because I can see that. I'm not going to get into that on this call, but there is insights in Facebook on a page where you can see exactly who is engaging the most, what age group, what sex is engaging, what location with your, at, with your page more than anyone else. So for my page, I go for Canada, 21 to 48, women and then you want to go to interest so you want to find people and uh, here's a mistake a lot of people make a lot of people set their interest to be you know for example fitness health motivation um you know tony orton sean t well guess what all those people already probably are beach body coaches already know a beach body coach or have already bought a workout program or they're already in shape you want to find people that are similar to your demographic right so for me I want to find people that are generally watching TV, but that like inspiration. So what shows on TV would people watch that like inspiration that are at home during the day that are women between 21 to 48 that live in Canada? Get it? So what do I do? I go after people like, for example, total example, Ellen, Ellen's TV show, Oprah Winfrey. Um, what kind of music do those people listen to? Uh, oh, Pink, Pink, she's in great shape. You know, people might listen to her. So I add, that's how I create interests, right? You don't want to find interests, you know, that people already are beach body coaches are already working out, right? Um, so that's a big mistake people make. So I add those people in. Next, I'll leave behaviors blank and then connections. I usually set that to only people that are not already connected, right, to my page because it's a like, right? Makes sense? Okay, good. So you'll notice the meter just off of what I did. It's about in the middle, right? It's the best if it's specific, but in this case, because it is a like promotion, it's not going to get much better than right in the middle, which is good. If it was all the way to the right, that'd be horrible. Um, and make sure you set your languages the right way and location, because even if you don't want to just, if, you, if you're in the US, right, set to US, if you want to do Canada and US, do that as well. But just make sure you don't pay for ads outside of North America because otherwise you're just going to be blowing money on people that, you know, frankly are not going to probably, they can't buy anything from you because it's not available. Okay. Okay. Next part. I'm going to try and go a little bit quicker, but I need a glass of water. Okay. Um, so the next part is the campaign and ad set. So I create a campaign. So in this case, I call it smart fitness page likes. So just a way of, it's like a folder. So just a way of categorizing your ads as you run more ads, you might want to do some testing. And then this ad set, I called it, um, you know, famous people. And then for budget, I set it to 10 bucks a day. Um, and here's another real big tip I'll tell you is make sure you set a start and end date because if you don't do this, it might keep running forever um, or, and you, you don't want it to. The other reason is even if you're like, well, I want to run this. Some people tell me, oh, don't worry. I got, you know, I got 10 bucks going in my like ad. It's, it's, it's you know, runs all year round. That's horrible. <laughs> It's absolutely horrible, okay? There is no ad on the planet that is gonna work longer than five to seven days max. People get bored of the same ad. They'll see it and they'll just start ignoring it. They'll keep seeing it and ignoring it, ignoring it, ignoring it. So you never wanna run an ad more than five to seven days. So I always set my start and end date um, specifically to that. So here I kind of messed up. I was just creating an example ad for you guys. But I would just set it to be anywhere from five to seven days, no longer than that. And then basically just, you know, kill the ad automatically for me because you can forget, right? Um, and then also the bidding and the pricing, I leave, I leave this one for bid for page likes. Um, and it works really, really well, okay? That's it. I know that was a lot and it's going to take you some practice and some time. And I didn't get it perfectly day one, but you can go back to this recording. You can watch them again. Um, that's pretty much how you set up. A like ad that's the right way to do it okay everyone else trust me everyone that wasn't on this call unless they spent like 10 grand on a Facebook course they don't know how to do it the way that I just explained you to do it so it's very important that you do it this way because I don't want you wasting your money 
you, you, you do not want to just use the generic features that Facebook has because that's how they make you pay a dollar, two dollars per like. You'll never be able to grow your page that way. Okay, so what you'll see after that is your order has been placed and approved. Just one thing I'll point out is uh, an advanced thing you can do is you can hit create similar ad. And the reason you might want to do that is if you want to target different areas, right? Because we're testing different images, but we're not testing different interest areas, right? So I might create a similar ad and target, I don't know, a different actress, different singers. Again, thinking of my demographic. Don't think what they like, think what they're watching, think what they're doing. Don't think the wrong way because you'll just be blowing your money, okay? Then the next thing you'll see is your ad has been approved. Go to the ads manager to see it, which is really exciting. Yeah, your ad's been approved. If it's the first time you're creating an ad, it might take you six to eight hours to hear back from Facebook. That's totally normal. Once you run more and more ads, they will actually give you more spending ability. They'll increase basically within Facebook. I don't know if they display this anymore. They used to. But basically, Facebook allows you to only spend a certain amount of money, and they'll give you basically more points. They'll approve your ads quicker. Um, if you complain about an ad not being approved, they'll respond to you right away. They'll assign you an account manager, all that kind of good stuff. So, um, so as you do this more, you'll just it, things will just be a little bit easier behind the scenes. Just to show you an example, once you hit the button, this screen's gonna load up. It looks super complicated. It's not super complicated at all. It's way less complicated actually than your Team Beachbody back office. Um, so basically, it's just showing me the three ads that I created, the three different images, uh, delivery. So right now it's in review. Um, you know how many times it's been seen, the cost, the reach, uh, and basically some other data. Again, you don't have to worry about much there, other than the cost. Right? Cost is important. If you see anything in here after a few hours that's you know anything higher than I would even say thirty cents a click, I try and keep mine under twenty cents. I will, I'll just go in and pause them. And so on the left there, you can kind of see there's a little slider, kind of like on your iPhone. You can just go and pause them yourself. You'll see which ones become more popular and you'll learn to pause and unpause certain ones and all that kind of good stuff. But just to give you that real quick synopsis there. Um, so, um, so now you know how to create a ton of likes. Again, like I said, if you go and do what I just showed you, you could go past 1,000, 2,000, 10,000, whatever you want, you know, you could just balloon. But you really, your goal has to be over a thousand likes. Once you have over a thousand likes, you're going to want to promote your posts. Okay, so here's the post that I showed you before. Um, how did I go ahead and promote this post? It was very, very simple. The only major difference, I'm not going to go through everything all over again just to save time because most of it's all the same. The only difference when you go and create ad, you're going to select page post engagement, and you're going to select. It's going to show you all your ads again. Never use that boost post button. Um, never like ignore it. That again is the exact same thing as I, as I told you before. In the casino, it's the slot machines. It's designed to take all of your money so that they can pay the high rollers that are playing poker, all the big money, and they can get the penthouse suite at the Aria Hotel. So you do not want to give the casino free money, right? So you're not going to use those boost posts ever again, even though it's super simple to hit a button and boost your post and waste all your money. What you want to do is you want to go and create the ad and you're going to select page post engagement and on the drop down you're going to select the ad that you want to boost, right? So your ad. Once you select that ad, it's going to basically show you the exact same screens again. So I'm not going to go through all of those again. You're going to follow the same rules, remove the one from the right banner, all that kind of stuff. Um, in terms of audience, just a couple of little things that you're going to want to change up here. Here what I, the big thing I do here is I, I actually leave um, the location blank and I set my gender to all and my age group again to 21 to 48. But you'll notice under connections, I say only people connected to smart fitness. Now this is the best way to do this. Okay, this is why you do it this way because you don't want to try and sell something to someone that has never heard of you before, right? Just like a store, a store, if you go to a store, right, like say Best Buy, or if you go to buy a car, right, if you go to buy a car somewhere, ideally you're gonna go somewhere where you've gone before, where you have a relationship with someone, right? And so Facebook is perfect for relationships. You don't wanna try and sell an ad to someone that hasn't liked your page, okay? You can, and it works, and I'm gonna show you that on the next screen, but the ideal, like the best, is to show an ad to people that have already liked your page, right? So I would say if you have a limited amount of budget, what you want to do is build your likes and then later on, you're going to want to promote ads to the people that have liked your page, 
Make sense? So you're gonna to wanna to say only people connected to Smart Fitness. That's all you wanna do, that's it. If you've done everything the right way, this ad is gonna explode for you because people that never see your ads or your posts are gonna see them. Remember, if you have a page right now and you've never run ads and you make a post right now, only 1% of people are gonna see that anyway. So if you have three, four, five, ten thousand 10,000 fans on your page, if you run this specific ad, all of a sudden all of them are gonna see this ad. And they're gonna know you from before. They're gonna be like, oh hey, I haven't seen their posts in a while. Oh, that sounds great. I should add them on Facebook, right? It's a funnel, it's a funnel system. Okay, so the second best method, if you don't have, let's say you only have a thousand, right? So you know, if you promote a post to a thousand, chances of getting anything out of that is gonna be very slim, it's gonna be hard. Right? So in the beginning, the second best option is almost your best option, which is a little bit different. What you want to do is select advanced connection targeting. Don't set it to all, again, scam. Set it to advanced connection targeting, and you're going to want to include people whose friends are connected to, and then again, smart fitness. Again, so in this case now, I'm, bo I'm boosting the post to people that have uh, liked my page, but also some of their friends that have also liked the page. So this boosts it even further. And you can see the numbers on the side. So on the side here, for when I was running it to my fans, potential reach estimate is 20,000 people, right? Because I have like 24,000 fans, but 4,000 of them maybe don't speak English or are not between the ages of 21 to 48, right? So I've taken out 4,000 people that would have seen this ad had I not gone through this method. Right now, when I expand that that 24,000 fan base to their friends, now all of a sudden that becomes a million. So again, if you have a thousand, it's not going to be as high, but it's going to be a nice, nice number for you. Now, um, the the final option for you that you can use is you know is basically the the option like the spray and pray method, right? So you just want to hit connection. You're going to want to set it to all, and basically everyone is gonna see this ad in Canada, right? So you could set it between the ages of 21 to 48 if you wanted to, and you're basically gonna just blast this specific post out to everybody. This one, I never use because really you're kinda of just spraying and praying. You're hoping that you know somebody out there wants to lose weight and wants to talk to you, okay? So again, you don't really wanna use this method. Okay, so some, some final thoughts and some gotchas. And before I keep going, again, really the first thing you wanna do is get your likes higher. I showed you how to do that. The second part is running the ads, and that part is really the exact same thing. The other options are just way more advanced options you don't really wanna play with. Um, so just some final thoughts and some gotchas that you're gonna to have to take into account. Um, what if your ad gets denied? So if you run an ad and you post an ad, for example, they're gonna come up with this little message that says, your post wasn't boosted because but read it, right? It says uh, it broke some of the guidelines, you know, making claims that are unrealistic and unlikely. The post remains published, but it's not running as an ad, okay? Nine out of 10 times, you're gonna see this message and most people are gonna quit. Now, here's the deal. What you wanna do is you wanna click on get in touch. And when you click on that button, Facebook's gonna pop up with a thing and it's gonna remind you of their guidelines and it's gonna say, well, why, why do, you, do you wanna complain about this, basically? And you say yes. And you just fill in a questionnaire. It's going to ask you, you know, please paste in the message you got. So you're going to highlight the message in red and paste it in. It's going to say, please uh, give me your page. You're going to give them the page. because It's basically an email you're sending in a form. And then it's going to say, you know, why do you think it should be approved? Right? And then you basically just write in there, well, I wasn't making any false claims. The, you know, I'm just telling people that they can get in shape in 10 weeks or less. Um, curious why it wasn't approved. That's all you do. And nine out of 10 times, they will approve it after that. And if they don't approve it, they're gonna to reply to you and say why, right? And I'm gonna show you why it would still not be approved. Okay, this is a critical step because like I said, nine out of 10 ads will be disapproved. Now here's an example. So there is one thing I wanna share with you as well. The other thing is don't buy likes. Okay, so if you go to Fiverr or any other website out there, you can buy likes. You can buy 50,000 likes tomorrow for like 30 bucks if you wanted to. Um, the problem with that is that when you buy likes, remember the method I showed you is you want to run an ad to your fans. So if you buy likes, chances are the likes are going to come from some country that you don't even want to be associated with, that you're not selling, that you're never going there. You don't even know anyone in that country. And that's where those likes are going to come from. And then the next time you run an ad, 
you're going to have to basically promote it to them, right? Unless you're really tricky about your countries. Even then, they're probably going to throw in some, a couple thousand from the U.S. that are basically bots, a couple thousand from Canada, and then a whole bunch from some other country. So you don't want to do that. The other reason why is because it looks really horrible on your page. Um, so just to give you an example, here's one. Um, you can really clearly see this person bought likes, right? You can see they have no engagement on their post, basically the entire time, nothing. And then a couple of days ago, right, they went up from like nobody, um, in this specific case, I think they went up from like 20 to 30,000 fans, all the way to 70,000 likes on their page, right? But if you click in on the like button, you'll notice that all of this person's fans are from Istanbul, Turkey, right? That's where the majority of this page's likes are from. Now here's the other big thing with that. Even if you learn how to filter your ads and not target the country, Facebook is cracking down on this huge, right? They're showing you this information. You think they don't know that someone went and bought likes from this page and they're really cracking down on this stuff. So I highly recommend never buy likes. If you see anywhere, oh, you can buy a thousand fans. They're all fake. Trust me, they're not real. The only way to get real fans is to do it the method that I showed you. And frankly, it's not that expensive. Okay. So just to show you again, if you look at the page here, for example, there's 25,000 likes on this page. Um, you can actually click on the likes so on any page if you want. If you've ever seen a page and you're like, oh wow, like there's no way, like how did they, wow, that's amazing, man. How did you get so many likes? Just click on their likes thing and you'll very clearly see right away that they bought likes. A natural one, like for example mine here, if you click on likes, you'll see that it looks, it's very ebb and flow, right? It's like I started posting more, then I went away, then I started posting more. There's no like major sharp upticks and downticks. The only way you get a sharp up and a sharp down is if you bought likes. The other thing you'll notice is that it says most popular city for my fans is Winnipeg, right? Where am I from? Winnipeg, right? Facebook knows all this stuff and a lot of pages are this close to getting turned off by Facebook. So don't buy likes. That was really the last big thing I wanted to share with you guys. Now here's the thing. The strategy that I showed you, you know, there was a lot of stuff in there. I've been getting a lot of messages about how this works. So I went into a lot of detail in it, but I wanted to make sure you guys understood exactly what was going on behind the scenes. So you know how all this stuff works. So you know, there's ways to learn this stuff, right? I know that Lindsay has advanced training, you know, from, em from new coach to Emerald coach, right? If you're a new coach, a lot of this stuff you don't really need to know about, right? Um, if you're an Emerald coach to diamond coach, all this stuff you need to know about. You know, if you're a diamond and above, you might need to learn this stuff. And we dive deeper into a lot of these things in our later trainings, right? So I wanted to give you a nice overview of that. Again, ultimately, the whole goal is to connect with new people, right? And to amplify your message. And if you don't have a strong why, if you don't know how to, you know, communicate and talk to people, if you don't know how to inspire people the right way, all of the stuff I just showed you is not going to work. There's no shortcuts in life to get people to buy a challenge pack, right? None of this stuff is click, walk away. You have to engage, talk to people, and get them on the phone and know what to say. Does that make sense? So another example I want to give you, last one here, is right hooks, right? So they don't have to be obvious either because some people will run ads and then they'll post a post on their page and they're kind of not sure what to say. I posted this just as an example before uh, the call started just to show you guys. And so here I just wrote up something really quick, right? I said, I can always tell in about 10 seconds, if someone is full of passion or doing something they love, creating a better world, or if they are stuck in a J-O-B and unsure how to get out of it, right? It's like life is sucked right out of them, and all I want to do is, in that instant is say, right? This is a very soft way that I use a lot, you'll see in my post, to basically tell people, instead of saying, hey, who's interested in becoming a Beachbody coach? I, this is my way of telling people to become a coach, right? So I never go out and ask anyone to become a coach. I never go out and ask anyone to join my challenge. I don't do that kind of stuff, right? I'll post before and after pictures. I'll tell them about the workouts and then they ask me about the challenge. This is a great example because within about 30 minutes of posting this, I had three messages from people, right? From people that had seen my stuff from before but maybe never talked to me, right? Miguel, I keep reading your posts, love them. And I'm not making these up. This is exactly what popped up when I posted this today, right? Three messages. And the reason I'm begging you to do this is because I see so many Beachbody coaches just posting challenge pack sales, join my challenge, join all this kind of stuff, but they're doing it the wrong way. You need to invite. Okay, you need to invite like crazy. Like once a week, I try and invite, right? But you need to do it the right way. 
You need to do it the right way, leading with your why. And I think that's really critical. And again, I want to end with kind of what I always say, right? My passion is to inspire and empower others to dream the extreme and show them that it can be done. I help people focus on themselves again, eat right, work out, spend more time with their families. I happen to be a beach body coach. That's it. That's all it is. If we keep things simple, we frankly don't even need Facebook, right? All we need is ourselves. So hopefully you guys uh, learned a lot on this call. Hopefully it was uh, packed full of content. I don't know if you ever had a call with that much technical content. I tried to keep it as simple as I possibly could. Uh, with that, I hope you guys live with passion, keep dreaming the extreme, and we will talk to you soon, guys. Take it easy. Something for y'all, call my wife, cause it'll sound like this. Yeah, let me show up, tell you my why. Hey, I live a beach body life. Yo, let's go work out, I'll tell you my why. Hey, I live a beach body life. Yo, we go all the fun before my head beach body. Life was in this good, life was in a body. Life was pretty hard, my body, I had it. But well, let me tell you my why before you get excited. Look, listen, my why is all of y'all. And if you want to do it too, that's how you got to bow. Peace, body. It's